Okay, lit code number 55, jump game. The brother of the previous task in lit code jump game 2, and the jump game 1 seems to be older than jump game 2. Anyway, so just like the previous task of the jump game 2, the jump game 1 has pretty much the same description. Elements, each element represents the power of the jump from that element, the maximum number of jumps that can be done. So like 2 means that we can move from this position to either the next one or the next next one, right here. And this time, instead of finding the minimum number of jumps that we have to make starting from the zero point to reach the end point, saying that we need to know only whether we can do it. So for a more detailed explanation, because that other task is like a broader task than this one, you can watch the other video, which is going to be in the same playlist anyway. For this one, I will quickly implement the BFS like thing. So again, mark numbers that size zero. The first, we are on the first element, so we're marking it as true. Then we would have a Q pair int int. This is the first element would show where we are, and the second one, actually, you know what? I don't need this because I just need to know where we are. So int. Compared to the previous one, we only need to know how many jumps it took. Alright, so while not q that empty, I would be the front pop. So, okay, I was the bad idea, I'll call this x. i is equal to 1, i is less or equal numbers x. Plus plus i. Okay, so new x would be x plus i, and if. Uh, and I can write the base case like at the, at the beginning. So if x equals numbers that size minus 1, return true. At the end of the function, return false. Alright, so if the new position is is a valid position, which means it's less than number that size, and it's not marked, then pretty simple. Mark the new position equals 1, and push. Okay, looks more or less okay to me. Let's see if there are any problems. Yeah, there are any problems. It, it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work because I didn't push the initial element, so we're at the position 0. Okay. Okay, it still doesn't work. What the hell did I miss here? So 1, front, reach the end, cool. Pop. equals equals zero. This always should be checked like this. Because the zero is by default false, so yeah. Oops. This is not possible. What was the test case there? Okay, submit it again to just see. How can I not solve the easier task, but solve the harder task? Let's see, whatever the hell this means, 91, okay, whatever. Okay. One improvement would be to just start from the end. This might not be a major improvement, but it can 
help somewhat. Yeah, this was actually a complicated solution to the easy task. Didn't even need it to be FS, but let's see. Yep, that helped. And we're done. 